Uh, the Pledge of Allegiance to the American Flag. You mentioned something about, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation indivisible under God with liberty and justice for all. Well, the last phrase just doesn't sort everything. I mean, with this segregation problem here and the uh, discrimination against colored people, how, how in the world could you have uh, uh, liberty and justice for all? And uh, I, in one of my hospitality periods, I, I didn't expect that even the kids could carry it that far. I had the, well, uh, privilege, I should say, of attending one of the uh, dances sponsored by, by one of the uh, civic groups. And I just noticed that, well, it was a big dance floor, and all the white kids were assembled on the left side, and the most, uh, well, shall we say, not strategic part of the ballroom, well, all the colored boys and girls were in there. And I never saw a white boy asking a, wh uh, a colored girl for a dance, nor did I see a colored boy asking a white girl for a dance. I had a nasty experience, too. Um, when I first arrived here, and I told, I happened to mention to a group of young people that I was going to stay with the Negro family, one of the boys got up and walked out of the room. And I felt awful. I thought, well, we're in the North now, not in the South. And then when we did go into the South, I really came against it pretty hard. We went into this big store. And um, I was in the, the ladies' cloakroom, and I was washing my hands, and I was with a group of the Eastern delegates, the rather darker-skinned ones, like Ratnati. And uh, I was standing a little apart from them, and this lady came up to <coughs> me, and she pulled me to one side, obviously assuming that I was American, and she said, uh, she said, what are these Negroes doing in here? And I was so cross, and I, very, I told her as calmly as I could that I was with them and who we were, and of course her attitude immediately changed. But it gives you sort of a, a nasty shock when you come up up against it face to face. You read about it in the newspapers, you hear about it, but you don't really realize the significance of it until it, it hits you in the face yourself.